Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we will be talking about the newly launched Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Now what's so special about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus is that the S24 Plus and the S24 comes with uh, the Exynos 2400 chip while uh, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Now last uh, couple of years uh, Samsung has been using uh, the Snapdragon uh, chip uh, for their flagship devices but this time around they are gone again back to Exynos. Now we all know that Exynos has a pretty bad history if you go back uh, till uh, 2020 and 2021. Uh, they were pretty bad in terms of experience especially in terms of overheating issues, the modem issues, then uh, battery drain issues. So they were pretty terrible actually. The history of Exynos has been really bad especially if you are looking for a powerful device for gaming as well. They have been pretty bad in terms of that experience. So should you trust uh, uh, Samsung S24 series with Exynos chip that's what we're going to talk about in this video so if you look at the past history uh, probably uh, anyone who is spending around 1 lakh rupees this is priced 1 lakh and the other way in this price 1 lakh 10,000 rupees that's 24 plus wouldn't be probably uh, um, trusting the Exynos uh, 2400 but again there are people who might invest uh, those, those who don't know Exynos or the, those who don't know Snapdragon they are looking for a premium flagship device they might invest in Samsung because Samsung has a really great brand value but if you are a person who is following tech and uh, if you know all the processors the manufacturing process etc then should you trust Exynos so what do you guys think let us know in the comment section so in this video we will be looking at the performance testing of the Exynos 2400 so let's begin so this is the Samsung Galaxy S24 plus with the one uh, UI 6.1 Exynos 2400 UFS 4.0 support and let's see how good uh, the experience is uh, in terms of throttling the performance testing uh, the geekbench attitude and also the stress testing so let's begin if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin the performance testing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. So let's get started with the performance testing of the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus with the Exynos 2400. So let's go to the settings. Uh, so there you go. Here we have the settings about phone Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and uh, we have the 12 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabyte uh, storage variant and this has the Exynos uh, 2400 uh, new DECA core chip. Uh, so it's a 10 core chip. Let's see how good it performs. Uh, we have set uh, the device uh, to quad HD plus resolution display so we have uh, the device right now so let's get started with uh, the testing so let's first have the CPU throttling test so let's see how the performance is so let's just start the test so options are uh, we have the uh, number of threads 20 and uh, 15 minutes test so let's uh, uh, see the temperature CPU temperature also we have set um, so save and let's start the timer so let's start with uh, the cpu throttling test So now we have completed the throttling test and you can see here throttle to 65 percentage of its max performance there are some definitely some gray areas you can see here minimum value when below uh, 200 uh, gives so you can see here this is throttle to 65 percentage of its max performance so there is definitely throttling here and uh, this is this test uh, there are a couple of tests we did uh, for the same uh, uh, app now when we did uh, the test with ac running this is uh, uh, the test which which we have done with ac running so this is uh, around uh, 24 degrees 23 24 degrees uh, ac room and we got this value so let's also check the temperature so you can see here uh, we have got around uh, 44 degrees so closer to that value so we'll uh, see the temperature also so you can see the temperature recorded by the app was 50 degrees maximum was 50 degrees and when we uh, did the same test in ambient room condition that means around 30 degrees ambient room condition this is what we got you can see here severe throttling so it again depends uh, if you are not having uh, uh, AC in the room then uh, the throttling test will uh, show you slightly lesser throttle but uh, without uh, uh, AC or ambient room temperature like what we have in India around 28 
29 degrees or 30 degrees uh, we can see a bit more of throttle so this is the throttling test and uh, this is the maximum temperature it reached during uh, the testing uh, in fact uh, we got similar values when we tested with uh, the uh, the temperature gun as well so 50 degrees is what we got uh, with this uh, so there is definitely throttling so that was the throttling test of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Next, let's move on to the uh, stress test and see how much uh, of the performance is retained. So now next, uh, let's start out with the stress test and let's see how it fares in the 3D Mark uh, Wildlife uh, stress test. So let's just uh, go here and uh, we'll do the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and right now the battery is at 74 percentage so let's start with the wildlife extreme stress test So now we are done with uh, the wildlife extreme uh, stress test. You can see here stability is 62.8. The best loop score is 4162 and the lowest uh, loop score is 2614. Let's quickly have a look at the temperature. So again, uh, you can see here uh, 43, 44 degrees. And let's see what uh, this shows, how much uh, is the maximum temperature. You can see it went up to 46 uh, degrees. Uh, that was the highest temperature Th from 32. It went up to 46. The battery came down around 12 percentage with the stress test. Initially, we started at 84 percentage. Then uh, it came down to around 74 percentage after the CPU throttling test. Now 12 percentage drop uh, with uh, the wildlife extreme stress, uh, stress test and frame rate uh, 10 FPS to 30 FPS. So you can see all the details here. Uh, the highest loop score is 4162 and the lowest uh, loop score is 2614 and stability is around 62.8 uh, uh, this is again uh, this test is again uh, done under uh, uh, the room running in ac it might differ again uh, when uh, the room temperature becomes slightly more this is around 24 degrees uh, room temperature now next uh, let's uh, uh, see the anti two benchmark score for this device. So next uh, let's uh, move on to the anti two benchmark test. So we'll uh, perform the test and uh, we'll uh, show you. You can see here Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus 2400. That's the Exynos 2400. So let's start the test and uh, we'll uh, come back and uh, we'll show you the results. So now we have completed uh, the anti two benchmark uh, test. You can see here. Uh, 17 lakh 99,839 almost 18 lakh you would say uh, so you can see here uh, the CPU score the GPU score the memory score and the UX score and you can see that the temperature went up to 43 degrees from 29 degrees and uh, you can see that the battery drain was around 8 percentage when uh, this test was conducted so this is the values it's quite a uh, good values actually in fact the snapdragon 8 gen 3 goes uh, uh, beyond 20 lakh but then this is exynos which is comparable to the snapdragon 8 gen 2 so you can see here around 18 lakh is the antidote score of this device now next let's uh, have a look at the storage test uh, so let's also see how good the storage test is this is ufs uh, 4.0 device so it should have a pretty good uh, read write uh, score so let's wait for this and you can see here 1,73,621 which is pretty good score actually. So that was the benchmark test of uh, this device. Now let's finally go to the Geekbench test. So now we have the Geekbench result, uh, single core score is 2181 and multi core score is 6952 which is quite good I would say uh, for this chip uh, which is again uh, comparable to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Uh, so this is uh, the value so 6952 and uh, 2181 is the single core score. So that was uh, the results uh, so uh, this is uh, the uh, performance testing and also the stress testing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus uh, with Exynos 2400. So we started the test with 84% battery and uh, while we completed the test we have 50% uh, of the battery so around 34% uh, uh, battery drain happened over, over the course of the test. Again uh, this is not a real time uh, uh, indication of any battery performance so this is just uh, we are seeing uh, the battery drain which happened during this test so that was the performance so overall we would say the throttling was uh, definitely on the higher side a bit on the higher side around uh, 50 60 uh, percentage but otherwise uh, it's quite uh, stable now we don't uh, see any major heating issues in regular usage as of now but again uh, uh, we need to wait
wait and see for at least one or two months to see whether Exynos is having issues. As of now, in our limited uh, uh, usage, we didn't see any major heating issues and it, it uh, remained cool uh, even during uh, the regular usage and we didn't have any overheating issues. So that was the performance testing of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. So what, uh, what do you guys think about the Exynos 2400? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.